In this video, we'll look at some basic indexing operations for subsetting and modifying data frames. This is really similar to indexing a series, so if you didn't see my lecture on indexing a series, you might want to go back and watch that one. To start, let's build a data frame called DF with six rows and three columns. We can access an individual column in its series form using either square brackets with the column name passed in, like DF square brackets open quotes shrimp, or dot notation like df dot shrimp. Personally, I prefer to use dot notation, but sometimes column names include a space, in which case you're pretty much forced to use square bracket notation unless you rename your columns. So for example, you can do df square brackets open quotes red space fish, but not df dot red space fish. If you want to access multiple columns, you can do that too using a list of column names, like df square brackets and then pass in the list shrimp comma crab, in which case you'll get back a data frame object whose data is a copy of the original data frame. If you want to pick out certain rows of a data frame by their position, you can do that using iloc just like you can with a series. For example, if you want to get the first, third, and fifth rows of df, you could do df.iloc square brackets and then pass in the list of indices 0, 2, and 4. Or you could use slicing, like df.iloc square brackets 0, colon, 5, colon, 2, which means give me every row from index 0 inclusive up to index 5 exclusive, stepping by 2. If you want to pick out an individual row, like the second row, you might try something like df.iloc square brackets 1 which works, but returns the result as a series. In most cases, you probably want to get this back as a one row data frame. And to do that, just wrap the one inside a list, like df.iloc square brackets list one. You can also use iloc to subset columns. So you could do something like df.iloc square brackets colon comma list zero one to get back columns zero and one. In English, you could describe this expression as saying, give me every row of the data frame, but only columns 0 and 1. And if you did df.iloc square brackets list 0, 2, comma list 1, 2, it'd be like saying give me rows 0 and 2 with columns 1 and 2. Now as you probably guessed, just like iloc can be used to subset a data frame, so can loc. To make the distinction a little more clear, let's start by replacing df's index with the letters a through f. Now, if we want to pick out the rows with index labels B and E, we can do df.loc square brackets and then pass in the list B comma E. We could combine row and column subsetting to pick out rows A, C, and F with columns crab and shrimp, like df.loc square brackets list A, C, F comma list crab shrimp. And we can even use slicing to pick out every row between B and E for column crab, like df.loc square brackets B colon E comma list crab. Now, what if you wanted to pick out the first three rows with columns shrimp and redfish? This is one of those times where, frankly, pandas is kind of disappointing, because what you really want to do is something like df.loc square brackets colon three comma list shrimp comma redfish, but this doesn't work because loc searches for index labels, so it doesn't know how to interpret the positional slicing colon 3. On the other hand, df.iloc square brackets colon 3 comma list shrimp redfish doesn't work because iloc uses positional indexing, so it doesn't know how to interpret the list of column names shrimp and redfish. Fortunately, there's a not so terrible workaround for this. The trick is to convert the column names shrimp and redfish to their corresponding positional indices 0 and 2, and then just use iloc as usual. Essentially, we want to do df.iloc square brackets colon 3 comma list 0 2. But to allow for column names instead of column indices, we can replace 0 comma 2 with df.columns.get underscore loc open paren c for C in the list, shrimp comma redfish. 
df.columns.getLoc returns the positional index of a column given its name. So we just combine that with a simple list comprehension to convert a list of column names to positional indices on the fly. I should also mention that df.columns returns the column index of the data frame, and in this case it's just like the row index, since our row index is also made up of strings. You can also apply Boolean indexing to data frames just like you can with series. For example, if you wanted to get the rows of df where column shrimp is less than 40, you can start by building a Boolean series like mask equals df.shrimp less than 40. If we print mask, notice it has the same index as our data frame. So then we can use this Boolean series with df.loc to pick out the rows where shrimp is less than 40. More commonly, you'll see this as a one-liner like df.loc square brackets df.shrimp less than 40. And just like series, you can combine logical conditions to create more intricate filters like rows where shrimp is less than 50 and crab is not divisible by 10.